Looking good comes with dozens of advantages, like having better confidence, getting higher pay, attracting more chicks, and the list goes on. Being attractive isn't entirely depending on genetics, so if you're born looking like a duck, there's still hope for you. When it comes to looking good, people often rely on makeups for girls and six packs for guys. But that's not entirely it. There's more scientific ways to make yourself looking better than a duck. So here's a little guide that will probably help on that. Firstly, get some reds on. In a study, a group of women were confined in a room and given photos of men wearing shirts of different color. They gave ratings on each of them based on attractiveness, and the men wearing in red came out on top of all the colors. This shows that either the red color subconsciously contributed towards attraction, or a woman loves to see blood. Given in Animal Kingdom, the color red is used as an attraction for potential mates. Some examples are the celibus crested macaques butt and the red pouch of frigate bird. Now if you don't like red, there's something else in the list that you can get. A man's best friend. That's right, a fellow dog sidekick. Study shows that when men with dogs are attempted to approach a woman to ask for her phone number, they are more likely to succeed than those without a dog. The science behind it is that having a dog shows that you are loving and able to commit to a long-term relationship. These qualities make you seem like a reliable partner. With this idea, you probably think that you can pull out the same trait with other kinds of pets, like cats, snakes, and bears. But the truth is, walking a dog is a much more common sight compared to other animals. But hey, don't let us stop you from being creative. Just be careful not to let them get snatched by predatory animals like eagles and wild monkeys. Even if the pet idea don't work out, at least you have them to accompany you through the sadness. Now, in some cases, what we do too affects our attractiveness. Researchers conducted a study to discover how attractive their partners are if they are doing some high-risk activities compared with low-risk ones. High-risk activities in this modern world would be like going for bungee jumping, skydiving, watching a movie in the office during working hours, and cutting queue when lining up for hot dogs, anything that is still within the legal limits. While low-risk activities are like fishing by the aquarium, hiking by the sports track, and camping in the storeroom. And as you might have guessed it, results show that women are more attracted to guys who are into high-risk activities. At this point, if you're asking if there's anything more simpler than this because you are hemophobic, dislike pets, and you prefer camping in the storeroom, well, there is. And the answer is a pair of glasses. A pair of glasses not only makes you look nerdy, it also has a tendency to make people think you're more intelligent, trustworthy, and successful. Even if you don't have eyesight problems, you can still get yourself non-prescriptive glasses that can shield your eyes from UV rays and fashionable glasses that, well, helps you to be more stylish. Now, does sunglasses work too? You know what Terminator wears? That's right, sunglasses. It makes people look cool. Not only they hide your intense gaze well, they also provide a decent protection against camera flashes. That's why celebrities wear them all the time. Sunglasses also obscure the eyes. It makes people wonder, what does his eye color looks like? What is he looking at? Does he even have eyes? It creates a sense of mystery and triggers people's curiosity to want to know more about you. So don't be surprised if someone suddenly approaches you and asks questions like, why do you wear sunglasses all the time? What are you trying to hide? Because it means that it's working. You're attracting more people towards you, probably not for the right reason, but it is indeed working. In this modern world, guys with six packs tend to make to the front page of magazine. With this much publicity, does it mean that women desire muscular men more? A study is done to put this to the test. Women were given pictures of shirtless muscular men and less muscular ones. They were required to select which one they were most likely to have long-term and short-term relationship with. And results show that women are most likely to choose to have short-term relationship with men that has bigger muscles. So gaining muscles might not be a bad thing, but it's best not to overdo it unless you're prepping yourself to wrestle a koala to the ground. So you got yourself painted in red, adopted a dog, cut queue, a lining in for the grocery store, got a pair of sunglasses and gained some muscles, but things don't go as planned. Chances are you're lacking this important element of life. Cracking a joke. Joking and laughing eases things off, reduces pressure, and makes yourself much more likable. In a study, a bunch of paired strangers were asked to interact with each other. It is reported that the more a man tried to be funny and the more times the woman laughed at his jokes, the higher is the level of attraction. Another study conducted in a bar in one three guy pants. They sat near a woman and one of them cracked a joke. The one that told the joke stood a better chance in getting the number from the woman compared to the other two. So you applied some of these ideas and it actually worked. Hmm. That's odd, but in case it doesn't, here's some bonus tips that might just help. Everyone needs friends and it's a lot more fun to hang out in groups. So if you're doing that, remember to hang out with the ugly ones. That way you'll stand a better chance to make yourself stand out among the rest. And lastly, booze is your answer. If you drink enough, eventually you'll start appearing 25% more attractive and begin to accept yourself. If this doesn't generate expected results, perhaps it's time to work on that inner beauty.